you want to focus specifically on cloud security technologies because that's mainly going to demonstrate your knowledge and your ambition for getting into the cloud security space. So here you want to be specific and really demonstrate your technical knowledge and discuss the technical knowledge that you have and the services that you know how to work with. If you are able to talk about how you will use cloud-based technologies to identify threats and to mitigate these threats, trust me, this is golden. Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how you can actually ace your cloud security interview if you are looking to get a job in the industry. Now, this is part of, it's the second part in a video series that I've started here. I'm not really sure how many parts it will have, but for now, this is part two. So basically, today we're going to talk about the interview, what you can expect and how you can actually ace your cloud security interview to get the job. If you're looking for information on how to get started or the certification skills, experience that you need or how to tailor your resume for cloud security, then definitely go and check out the previous video, which I will link here or down below. Check that one out first and then come back to this video and check how you can ace the interview. Now, today I have a lot of information to share. So I have a lot of notes and things documented here on my iPad, which is kind of my digital best friend. Basically, I wanted to take you all through the interview process, what you can expect in a cloud security interview and how to frame your mind and what are some of the things that you need to prepare for. All right. First up, I want to say that with a cloud security interview, it's not that much different to kind of a normal cybersecurity interview. Like you kind of already have to know that you're going to get asked about general cybersecurity concepts, terms, threats, vulnerabilities, la la la, all the rest, right? So in this video, we take it that you're already prepared to take a cybersecurity interview, but now you want to tailor this specifically into a cloud role like maybe you're interviewing for a cloud security engineer a cloud security analyst role and this is where we'll really focus specifically into what a potential employer can ask you in in the interview process and how to answer these questions and how you can ace this interview process all right so first up very common question is how are you actually staying up to date with cloud security threats? Now, this is a common question, but it's so common. And trust me, it still throws so many people because like straight off the bat, you have to think offhand, what are some of the resources that you're using to stay up to date on the daily? And so here, what you want to prepare is a few of the newsletters or podcasts that you listen to, right? So for me, for example, it is um, the Cloud Security Alliance podcast, the Microsoft Azure podcast, there's an Azure Daily Minute, and I will try and link most of the podcasts and the resources that I use down below um, so that it's easy for you to find. I also have the CyberWire Daily and the Sands Daily Stormcast. I mean, but those are not cloud security specific focus, but those are fantastic podcasts to listen to around cybersecurity information. But basically, I would say, the daily place where I go to is the Azure Security Podcast and the Cloud Security Podcast. Those are the two main ones that I listen to. And then from a newsletter perspective, there is the Curbs on Security, the Microsoft Security Blog. I get those updates on the daily. I also, in my world, get kind of MVP updates. So that's what, what counts like as the resources that I use to stay up to date. But for you, it might be very different. But I will link all of my favorite resources down below and feel free to use them to firstly stay up to date. And then of course, to mention them in your interview. But the process that you want to follow here is just to have kind of your list of resources on hand so that you can not be thrown by that question to kind of think of a lot of information while you are actually sitting there in the, in the interview. You want to be on top of it. You want to show a potential employer that you know what's going on. This is an industry that you are super interested in. So you are continuously learning and gaining knowledge on the daily. All right. Now the second question. What are some of the technologies in the cloud computing space that you've worked in? Now here, 
you want to focus specifically on cloud security technologies because that's mainly going to demonstrate your knowledge and your ambition for getting into the cloud security space. Here you want to think of if it's Azure, if you're following on from the previous video, I've pretty much zoned into Azure, Microsoft currently over here. But basically what you want to think of is Key Vault. For example, that is a security service. It's a, it's a platform service, but it's actually a security service that holds certificates, keys, and secrets, right? So, so you're going to think of that. Then think of SIM solutions and monitoring tools. So Microsoft Sentinel, think of Defender for Cloud. Um, think of the Azure Firewall front door, which is the web application file or the WAF services that sits in front of Azure itself. Think of DDoS prediction, think of network security groups. So here you want to be specific and really demonstrate your technical knowledge and discuss the technical knowledge that you have and the services that you know how to work with and configure as part of your interview. Next up, you want to talk about how you are able to firstly solve problems technical problems because this is a technical process and technical interview that we're we're discussing today but technical problems how you're able to solve them um how you're able to handle cloud-based threats and incidents what you would do to solve an incident in the cloud so for example you would gather the data you would analyze the data then you would try to get in enough information to contain the threat um, and then you want to eradicate the threat and then basically you want to communicate all of these things that you've done, you want to write a report about it and you also want to put recommendations in on how the defenses can be improved. Because one thing to keep in mind is when you're an analyst, you are basically the one guarding the environment and guarding the castle and keeping your eyes out uh, on the lookout for potential threats and you're trying to stop them um, before they can do anything bad to the walls of the castle and coming inside of the castle. When you've done that, when you have fought off a threat that's on the outside here, what you want to do is give all the right information to the engineering team who's on the inside here and building up the defenses and making sure that there's all of the right defenses in place. So your communication and problem solving skills and reporting skills is so, so critical to the security response and operations process here. Basically, if you are able to talk about how you will use cloud-based technologies to identify threats and to mitigate these threats, trust me, this is golden in a cloud security analyst interview. And then the final question that I'll cover here in this video is, what do you think about the cloud and security in the cloud? And how do you foresee the future with cloud security. Now, potential employers in an interview, they like to probe on how you think, right? And this question doesn't really have a right or wrong answer, but it's specifically focused into how you think. That is really, really important. So here I would think about answering in a way that you consider the cloud responsibility matrix, because one mistake that a lot of people make is thinking that the cloud is inherently secure, but it is absolutely not inherently secure. The cloud needs to be secure. The cloud provider provides the solutions and services for you to utilize to secure the cloud environment, but they very clearly state as part of the RACI model that it is not their responsibility, it is yours. So even in a SaaS scenario where it is a software as a service that's provided by the cloud provider, you are still responsible for the device security, the user security, and the data. So in most cases, if you go to platform services, you're responsible for more. And if you go to infrastructure services, you're responsible for even more. So I think knowing that, knowing the differences between the different cloud models and the RACI of what you're responsible for from a security perspective is absolutely critical in an interview. And being able to clearly state your opinion on what you think about AI and the involvement of AI into cloud-based models and auto-provisioning models and threat hunting and threat detection and intelligence, how... AI will help facilitate better incident response processes. That is 
so so key and will set you miles apart if you are able to discuss that information and have conversations about that and how do you learn about that exactly through the first point that i mentioned with keeping up to date with the podcasts the newsletters the blogs and the information on cloud security and new modern technologies like ai all right now I want to talk about what you should have ready for your cloud interview and what you might want to consider from a skills perspective, adding to your portfolio of skills here. Because while I'm a huge, huge advocate that in security as a whole, coding is probably required in very few subsets of the role. And please feel free to drop your indifferent opinions in the comments. That's fine. This is my opinion. So that's from my experience. However, in cloud security, I think it's so, so beneficial to you if you are able to demonstrate to an employer that you actually have some basic knowledge of coding and scripting and especially considering infrastructure as cloud. And I did dive into this in the first video as well. But basically for your interview, if you are able to speak about the tools that you're using. So if you have been using infrastructure as code and you use VS code to deploy infrastructure into Azure, for example, or use Terraform, any of those kind of tools that you are using to deploy anything into the cloud, that's really beneficial to mention. It will set you apart. Then other things is really demonstrating your history, how you've learned, even if you have no experience, nobody cares whether it is working experience or unpaid experience or what kind of experience you have. Do you have hands-on experience? If the answer is yes, then find a way to effectively communicate your qualifications, your skills, and your experience inside of that interview. I think that while on many of the roles, experience is requirement, we know this, like there's no true entry-level roles in cybersecurity. You always require some form of experience, but experience is experience. And that's the point. As long as you have hands-on experience and you can demonstrate that you can solve the problem that they are facing and you have the skills to fit in there and slot into the role and start hitting the ground running, then you can do this. You just have to demonstrate that and bring that message across in the interview. The bottom line here is, friends, that you've got this. You can do this. You can start a career into cloud security. It is a fantastic space in cybersecurity to come into. It is modern. It is the future. And with some smart moves, the right certifications, the right skills, the right resume, the right interview processes and interview practice and research, you can absolutely get a job in cybersecurity. Follow the guides, follow the details, follow many other creators that you can find that speak about cloud security specifically and get your frame of mind and your reference frame of what you're learning into the jargon and the industry language and you know all the different facets of cloud security get into that from a mindset perspective and if you have the right mindset to set yourself up for being a cloud security professional so here's where also the difference comes between you're ambitious and you're trying to get into cloud security or telling yourself, I am a cloud security professional and therefore I will get a job in cloud security. There is a big difference there and never forget that there's power in how you communicate with yourself. All right, friends, I hope that you have found the videos on how to start in cloud security followed on by this one on how to ace the interview process. I hope you found them both helpful and informative and if you are currently looking to start your cloud security journey and you have any other questions please comment them down below or leave a comment with any other videos that you would like to see in the future thank you for watching please subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you next time bye